fine late last night. Yeah, I know I did. Um, come on, we've just got time for some breakfast. I've told you. It's, it's not what she said. It, well, let's just say I think she still may have a soft spot for me. Oh, but don't you dare tell anyone I told you that. There you go. The condemned woman ate a hearty breakfast. Not condemned yet. And if it does happen, you'll not be there to crow, will you? We'll see about that. Yeah? And as for Scott, there won't be no job for him up at home farm when I get back there. You, back there? <laughs> That'll be the day. Well, you're not eating at home either. What? Well. Oh. Beyond me, how she can afford it. Coffee? Please. Yeah, yeah. You all right, Charity? So, so. Well, uh, all the best. Oh, cheers. Didn't know you cared. The mum seems a bit brighter today. Yeah? Any particular reason? No? Well, from what I hear, she may be wavering a bit. Just something somebody said. I don't think you better say any more. All right. Just thought you should know. Well, it wasn't me. It must have been somebody else. <laughs> Take no notice of her. That's her, all right. You can't stop me coming in. Madam, if you enter that courtroom, you'll be in contempt of court. Mum, what on earth are you doing? You don't know me. Mum! You'll get 30 days. I've left my phone at home today. I'm sorry, madam. Don't worry, love. I'll take notes for you. Uh, no notes allowed. Oh. But she's got my clothes. Can I just go in and get my clothes? Mum, will you just go home? I can't go home dressed like this, can I? I saw no sign of depression or suicidal tendencies in Mr. Tate. Nevertheless, it is true to say, is it not, that Mr. Tate declined chemotherapy and radiotherapy? Initially, yes. Which suggests that he wanted his death to come sooner rather than later. Possibly, though I formed the impression he felt that the short time by which the treatment might extend his life did not warrant the side effects. <laughs> Kid, you're doing great. I haven't said out yet. No, what I mean the case. Oh, and our Debbie tells me you went to see a certain somebody Shh. last night. It's all right, there's nobody here. So is it true? You've got a nerve, you. We're telling me next that you came on to her. You never. You're unbelievable, you are. She could have had you run in. No. I always knew if I could get her on her own. Going around. She's got the odds for me. I wouldn't touch her with a barge pole, not after the way she's treated you. Yeah? Well, right now I'm pretty desperate. And at this point, there's not a lot I wouldn't do. So much so that when Chris went to Leeds to see this specialist about his headaches, he didn't tell no, can't, Charity can't. where he was going or why. Charity was very angry and shouted that she would kill Chris. What's happening? This is Terry's statement they're reading out. Like, what took you so long? Oh, Viv wanted me to bring some things for. Zoe Tate. It's going to be interesting. I wonder what she'll say. I am. Take the book she's... in your right hand and read the words. Okay. She could say anything, couldn't she? I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's the Bible you're swearing on. You remember that. I will have no more interruptions from the public gallery. Eight. Could I ask you to describe your brother's state of mind during the weeks leading up to his death? He was coping. But of course he had a lot to come to terms with. Could you elaborate? 
Well, the news of his illness, he was obviously very upset, especially at the thought of leaving his son an orphan. Did he ever discuss the outcome of his illness with you? Only that he didn't know how much longer he had, that he had to make the best of the time that was left to him. Did he ever mention the possibility of taking his own life? No. Never. You knew him very well. Was this a course of action you think he might have considered? My lord, my learned friend is leading the witness. My lord, Miss Tate was the person closest to the deceased. I suggest she might well have known if her brother had been brooding on taking his own life. Proceed. Could you answer the question, please, Miss Tate? Did you ever think that your brother might have been privately thinking of considering suicide? Certainly not. My brother was not a quitter. And I have never seen him more positive in all his life than in the days... ...leading up to his murder. No further questions, my lord. Miss Tate, you told my learned friend that your brother was extremely upset when he discovered his wife was having an affair with Kane Dingle. Yes. He was very wounded. Was he angry? Anyone would be angry in those circumstances. Yes, Miss Tate, indeed. Angry enough, perhaps, to seek revenge. The only revenge my brother was planning was to divorce his wife. Lastly, Miss Tate. I'd like to turn to your relationship with Mrs. Tate, your sister-in-law. You were very close at one time, I understand. Yes. Well, would you like to expand on that? Not really. We were good friends. Is that all? She was very helpful to me when I was ill and when my baby was born. I think that's a bit disingenuous, Miss Tate. Isn't it true to say that you also had a relationship of an intimate nature with the accused? That was before she married my brother. Nevertheless, she rejected you in favour of your brother. The jury may feel that colours your judgement. On the contrary, I was very fair with her. The only interest she had in my brother was his money. She knew she had to kill him before he got round to divorcing her. You two fierce little bitch. That's her opinion. That is not evidence. Promised. Silence. That's never evidence. If you do not sit down immediately, I will have you removed from the court. Maybe the jury should know that she started out life as a common prostitute. Oh, brought in to service my brother. Miss Tate. Pass form shouldn't come into this. Remove that man from the courtroom. You don't listen to her, right? Because she's off her head. She only went and set fire to village church, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, kid, you tell her. And they had to have a section, didn't they? Silence! She's a monster. My brother was terrified of her. She's been stalking me ever since she got out on you bail. You little psycho! Do you know something? You're worse than your brother! Last night she forced her way into my home. She, she browbeat me. She, she tried to seduce me. Yeah, didn't have to try very hard, did her, Zoe? Silence! Anyone else who speaks while I am speaking will be held in contempt of court. This is a court of law. And this slanging match is most unseemly. Neither the defendant nor the witness will speak again unless asked a question. Is it true that you visited the witness in her home yesterday evening? Yeah. Because she invited me. I did not. I told you to be quiet! It is clear that feelings are running very high. The court is adjourned until tomorrow morning, by which time I hope that you both will be in a calmer frame of mind. The court will rise. <laughs>